Welcome back. The Charter Commission NYC is preparing for its five public hearings in September. Now, the New York City Charter Revision Commission is tasked with the broad mandate to conduct a top-to-bottom review of the city's constitution. Now, the initial phase, which consists of a series of hearings to be held in each borough, starts with a first hearing scheduled for September the 12th. And here now to tell us more is James Vaca, the Bronx appointee to the New York City Charter Revision Commission. He also was a <laughs> district leader. He also was in the city council. Yeah. And I haven't seen you in years, but it is great to see you. <laughs> good to see you, Dan. How you been? It's great to be back. I've been on your show many times, but not recently. So I it's know. Great to be here. Good to be here. Good Thank to have you, you with Thank us. Thank you for having me. So talk to us a little bit about this here. Well, the Charter Revision Commission of the City of New York is going to be reviewing the city charter from top to bottom. Uh -huh. You know, the city charter is basically the constitution of New York City. It empowers all of our elected officials, all the commissions, all the agencies. And we haven't had a top to bottom review of the commission since the 19, since of the charter since the 1980s. Mm -hmm. So I'm here as the Bronx member appointed by Ruben Diaz, the borough president. And this whole commission was appointed by Corey Johnson, the speaker of the council. Wow. So we're, we're gonna be taking a serious review uh, of the charter. How can we update it? How can we look at land use? How can we look at making sure that uh, there is an equal distribution of facilities within the city once the city cites them? Uh, how can we make e elections more uh, efficient and get more participation? We're going to be looking at a whole host of things, and uh, I have some things in mind as a longtime Bronx person. Yeah, I, I was that, trying, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to get the exclusive right now, because you can tell me this, right? So uh, what part are you particularly looked at, looking at, and what part are you most concerned with? Well, I'd like to really look at how we have local engagement. Um, community boards, and I was a district manager for 26 years, uh, community boards need to be heard. Local neighborhoods need to be empowered. Now, is the structure we have in place a type of structure that empowers people to have a real voice in their local neighborhoods? How do we make citywide officials more effective? Do we understand that we now have a system of runoff voting for our citywide elected officials? So if you don't get 40 percent, there's another election. But the reality is that even when you have the first election, there's low participation. In the second runoff, there's, there's even less. So maybe we should have a system of, of, um, of, of second choice type ballots where people, when they vote the first time, can rank their preferences so that there is no necessity of a second election costing the taxpayers a lot of money and having such a low turnout. Uh, I want to look at why certain agencies are not performing. Our city services in the Bronx are not being delivered the way they should be. We need more responsiveness, accountability, and transparency. So how do we get that? So I hope to bring my knowledge of city government to the commission as a voice not just for the Bronx. Yeah. But as you know, I served in the council for 12 years. I was head of the Committee on Transportation technology. I was in the leadership. So I think that I bring a, a perspective got, that's going to be good. Got a little knowledge, I might say. A little think. knowledge. A little knowledge. But <laughs> so after you take a look at this, you see what needs to be done, right? You guys are getting together. What does the process go from there? Well, we're going to be having public hearings in every borough. We want to hear from people about how they uh, view the charter and how they would like us to proceed. What changes would they like? Now, the mayor had a charter revision commission. Mm -hmm. They're going to have three ballot questions on the ballot in November. Our commission is much more inclusive. It has appointments not just from the mayor, but from the borough president's public advocate and controller and the council, of course. So we're going to be taking a more holistic view of the charter. How can we... Uh, effectuate meaningful change and we're not limiting ourselves to one or two areas our mandate is to review the structure of city government let me ask you this question how familiar are New Yorkers a with the charter I mean we're talking the average New Yorker probably doesn't know about the charter and B as a member of the Commission how do we get more people to become active in knowing about the charter and, and getting that input that you so desire. Well, our Charter Commission has a public engagement unit which uh, is going to be going out and speaking at community boards, at civic associations, at uh, colleges. So we're going to have that type of engagement. We have a website now up. We have Twitter. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff reaching out. And these public hearings, of course, are the catalyst. I want people to come once they see the announcements of the hearings. Uh, I want them to come to those hearings. But I think that the uh, city charter is a... Uh, a work in progress now that we have the mayor's commission and we have, I think, uh, a more uh, 
a commission in totality that will be looking at the charter. And I want people to understand that how city government works, this very technical thing called the city charter, affects their everyday life. Mm -hmm. It affects the quality of life in their neighborhoods. And once we get that understanding, who do we go to with what? How do we get something done? What is the approval process on projects? That's very important because knowledge is power. So let's let people know again when their opportunity is to come on out for the public hearing in this area. We're having a public hearing on September 12th here at Lehman College. It's, it's, it's a Wednesday. That's the Bronx public hearing. And then we go into hearings at, in Queens and the other boroughs. And then we meet and then we have more public hearings. <laughs> Believe me, we will be hearing from the public uh, in, in many, many ways. And how does this translate into action real quickly? Because people say, listen, we have these hearings. We talk about this. What kind of confidence and assurance did you give people that eh, their hearings and their speaking is not in vain? Oh, no. I'm telling people that this Charter Revision Commission is going to have referendums on the ballot. Uh, they're going to be on the ballot next year, and we're going to arrive at some conclusions, and we're going to be doing it largely based on what we hear and what we think is going to be best for the city of New York going forth. All right, Jimmy Baca. Okay. My friend and brother, good hey, to see good you, to man. Good to see you. Good we to see you We had to say we've been again. doing this for more than 20 years. <laughs> we've been doing this a long time. A long time. It seems like yesterday. I know, right? <laughs> Nothing changes. <laughs> All right. Listen, taking a quick break. We'll okay. be back with more shows. Stay with us. We'll come mm -hmm. right back right after this. Thank you. No. <laughs>